One of the tools we'll need to work with protective relays is a test set. That is a device uh, apparatus of some sort to generate a precise amount of AC current to inject into the relays to simulate current coming from a current transformer. Now in the past we've cobbled things together from spare parts that we had, but it was pretty crude, pretty ugly, and I want to make something that's safer and has more finesse. So this is the beginnings of our test set. It's based on a couple of variacs, which are variable auto transformers, feeding into some fixed ratio transformers to give us a variable amount of current. We're going to be measuring current with a shunt resistor, placing a precision AC voltmeter across the resistor to measure current. So the idea is we've got one variac that's a coarse adjustment. We have another one that's a fine adjustment, which is hooked up to a fixed ratio transformer in a boost or buck configuration. So right now the construction, like I said, is underway. We don't have any of the wires tied back or prettied up at all, so we're going to have to straighten this up as time goes on. But hopefully we'll have this running within a week or so, and we'll be able to actually put some current into our relays and test it. Now eventually, this summer, I'm hoping to make it a student PLC project of mounting a small HMI screen with the PLC inside. And the PLC will be able to start and stop the test and also time how long it takes for the relay contacts to trip. That would make it a much more useful unit than just this purely manual thing. Because when you're doing relay testing, it's just not good enough to hit a button on a stopwatch to time the starting and stopping times of the relay test. You need to be much more precise than that. But this at least will give us the ability to adjust current, coarse, and fine, and to be able to send that current out to a relay and to measure it using a precision uh, ammeter, or I should say a voltmeter measuring voltage across the shunt. So hopefully in about a week or so, we will see uh, this in operation and be able to use it.